Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. This is Ben, and I have your word for the day, and it's coming to us from Matthew 20, 21, 1 through 5. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethpage to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. Now, full disclosure, uh, what I get from this is humility, and humility is uh, not my strong suit, so I struggled with what to say on this. But um, what I get is that Jesus humbled himself to come into Jerusalem and announce himself uh, on a donkey, a more humble animal. Uh, normally, uh, someone who was a king or very stately would come in on a nice horse or on a chariot with a procession of people. And that's not what Jesus has done. He's done something very humbling to give us an example of humility. Um, I kind of... <laughs> Compare it to like if a kid wanted to uh, take his date to prom and he says to his friend, hey, go across the street and in the driveway you will see a 1984 uh, Chevy Malibu. You'll notice it by its three missing hubcaps and primer spot on the uh, hood. Um, bring it to me so that I can take my date to the prom. Um, similar to that. Sorry for the bad joke. But um, this teaches us uh, a lesson in humility and for me, it's like, what is the definition for me of humility? What, what does it mean to me? Um, and for me, it's when I'm serving and blessing other people and actually enjoying it. And uh, that may sound kind of arrogant, but uh, one thing that I, I've done in my past is uh, house painting. And when we do serve our schools, most often, people come to me first and ask, hey, Ben, can you help our group uh, serve the schools? And so for the past few years, the first time I was like, oh, sure, and I did it. And it's like, well, I guess that's chalk that one up for my points in heaven. The second year, it was like, hey, this is great. Look at the smiles on the teacher's faces and the principal is shaking my hand. Oh, thank you so much for doing this. And then the third year, it was just a, just a blessing to do it, even without the praise. Um, I gained that perspective of humility and doing it for others just for the sake of doing it for others. And so um, that's, that's what I take from this, is Jesus is giving us an example of don't take the high road. Look for ways to be humble in your approach and be a servant um, and take joy in it. And that is, that is what is going to bring the most fulfillment and um, just fulfillment in your life. So uh, I hope you've gained something from this and I hope you have a blessed day.